Welcome back to Double Joy's channel, the wonderful of seashells. Today we're still going to talk about books, but we're going to study a very recent book because it was published in 2018. This is a reference book for the world of con lovers. It is a taxonomic iconography of living conidae by Monnier, Limpalaire, Robin and Roux, four French authors. This is a great complement to the other reference book published in 1995, the famous RKK from, of Crocker, Corn and Corn. The work accomplished in 10 years by the author is enormous because they had the audacity to treat all the cones of the planet contrary to the RKK. This book is a must-have. The only negative point is the high price of the set because it costs about 300 euros if you, buy, if you buy both volumes. Though the books are worth widely and they will remain the new reference for a very long time. So we're gonna we're gonna start studying those two volumes. Let's start by the volume number one. This is a really huge work. It's really a book you must have if you like cones. So, you have the table of contents. Many, many information about cones, the measurements, what about the protocon, the spire, different spire, the shoulder, the ramp, sutural ramp, the words. Fire pattern, very nice live shell image, and then a lot of stuff about genus classification, families, subfamilies, a lot of information on the radula, and it's a really huge books with plenty of information just like the RKK at the time so let's go now to another section so you're about the conotoxins which are actually strongly studied by a lot of scientists the DNA and the systematics, it's a very interesting part. And then you have an explanation of the of the um, different uh, little icons that you'll find along the, the text for each species. And the book starts with the Californiconus and you can see that the both pages are really cool. Why? Because you have the white background, so the colors can be really, really, I mean, distinguished by the reader perfectly. You have the, the species name, then the picture of the, of the shells, and you have the range. Of course, the, the size, the depth, when you, when they knew what kind of uh, feeding, like worms, fishes, or other mollusks, it's it's written on the under the the map, and you have also the protocon, which which is very interesting. And if you have DNA research, like on this page, you can see the DNA. Dina, um, I say uh, Dina uh, thumbnail. Then you know that the st the species has been studied. Of course, I'm not going to show you all the books as you're gonna buy it, but you can have a look to the overall quality of such a book there are plenty plenty of great images of all the species that the cones that you can find on the planet you know the 
pictures are really of good, of good quality. You can see there are always a little text where the holotype, for example, this very interesting information. But there are not really description like in the Arcade K. It's a truly a different book and it's, as I said earlier, a very good complement. Just Pediconis group. Sporantius. When the authors could get some, you will see some images of live shells among the pages of the book, which uh, is a very good thing, especially for local collectors and divers. So we are on the page 324 so you can understand that's a huge book this is my picture you can recognize the Connors boy from Martinique many many interesting species will be discovered while reading this book we are 400 pages now Each page can get a, a species, sometimes two species. It's a real exhaustive book. And the first volume ends about... Uh, we're approaching the end. It's about... Uh, 600 pages. Something you can realize in the in the first volume is the there's a mi a miss, something missing. It's the index. The index is only can be only be found on the second volume. What does that mean? Here is the second volume. That means that if you can't afford to buy both both volumes, then you sh maybe you might sh I mean you should buy might be the the second one. Why? Because you can get the index. It's very difficult in the book to find species without an index. But you will probably buy both, so this problem will disappear. So now the second one, table of content, and directly jumping on the species list. Again, OSM pictures, live shell images, and information that can be important for the reader and for the field collector and also for a scientist. This hardcover book has a great, great quality, trust me. This is a reference book that will be used for the future by many collectors. Morillet. I would say this is an awesome species, but I would say that any any pages this book because when you love cones I think you love all the cones even a 
common species can really become a little treasure in your drawer. You can see that many great images of the cone are spread all along the pages of that book. This is a true awesome species. So rare. I'm sure you're enjoying. This is another picture I sent them. This is my picture from the Tuamutu. So there are many, many, many cones on this one too. We're approaching the 1000 hundred pages so you can point out the huge huge work of the four French authors I say French authors but the book is in English it's written in English and so the book ends about uh, 1171 pages then the bibliography follows and after that the index you can make a photocopy of the index and put the the photocopies in the first volume the fourth the four authors Dr. Monnier Loïc Lempare Alain Robin and Christophe Roux. And here we go. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please give us a like, subscribe to the channel and see you next on WS channel. Have a good day.